Well, here's a good indicator that uh, well through primer to me, in my opinion anyway, is pretty much a waste of money. Um, hey, I was kind of like sidetracked doing stuff on my El Camino here. I think the wind's kicking up, probably getting on the camera. But uh, uh, this is a bare piece of metal I was going to do on the other part of the door. And I got to hammer it down and make the, the lip. But um, I just wanted to see if, you know, I sprayed this down, with sprinkled this down with some water with the hose there, if it would rust where the corrosion resistant weld through primer copper coat, which is, you know, this is supposed to be the better stuff, even better than the zinc, if it would rust. Well, you see, here's the bare metal. You can see this was very, very light surface rust. In other words, just sprinkled it on water on it for a day. And here's where it was coated, chemically cleaned, coated, uh, with a good coat of that stuff, and look, rust, rust, already showing through. So, I gotta tell you, this, this stuff, pretty much, it might do a little bit, but it doesn't do that much. Um, you know, if you're gonna have to, uh, if you're gonna put new steel in the car, and you know, new steel, yeah, it's the right way to do it, but if you don't put something behind that new steel, if you're up north, you know, if you're in Texas or Oklahoma, or even if you're down southeastern United States, you're not going to have a problem. But when they got that brine on the roads up there, which is salt mixed with something else, it's like a brine. It is super, super corrosive. If it gets, if that wet moisture gets up in here, and it, where you fix something, uh, and you put all brand new metal in there, it, and it's, it's going to start rusting immediately, and you might last two or three years. That's about it. Because even the new cars don't even last that long. A lot of, in a lot of cases, unless they're garage kept, they're freaking washed a lot with you know on the undercarriage and all that stuff. What my advice would be to get something like this, and a lot of people aren't using this, and I don't know why. To me, this is like almost like the old Z-bar coating um, that was the rust-proof stuff back in the 70s. It's still, I mean, they still have it today, but it's like a waxy, oily film instead of just using motor oil which is inferior Cosmoline weather shield and this stuff it's got the wand it's got this spray you can get it up with the wand in any in areas and say you can't get it in an area what I would do is drill a hole and I'm doing this on my car I'm, it's gonna be a pain in the ass it's gonna be a lot of ongoing nitpicky shit just drill a hole spray all this stuff inside of it and then fill up the hole either with um, I mean, you can use uh, a plug, or you can use some kind of uh, strong adhesive or something. Even you know, if it's like a little hole, or if it's a it's a large hole like that, and you can use a plug, a rubber plug, with something underneath the plug with um, like a cement, like a gasket cement or something, or RTV to seal it out so it's watertight. Because this stuff, man, I'm looking at this stuff, and you know, it doesn't really work. Um, it doesn't really freaking, I, I don't see any corrosion, I mean, it's maybe it's very minor, but you're looking at this, you can see that clear as a bell, that's, that's like one day of just water sprinkled on it, it's corroded just as bad as the bare metal, what the hell good is that shit, nothing, and this stuff is not cheap either, so, you know, I think it's like 20 something dollars a can, and, you know, something like this, I think this is about, well, it depends on if you buy bulk or not. Maybe it might be it's $13 a can or something, but at least this would work. If I sprayed this on here, and I know it works, and I sprinkle it with water, there'd be absolutely no rust. Um, it could probably stand out here in bare steel for maybe a few months before it even starts to rust, and it'll greatly hinder the corrosion. So if it's behind something, like in a rocker panel or behind a door or something, to me this stuff is pretty much... Um, you know, I hate putting out a video like this knocking a product because, um, you know, I usually like 3M and stuff, but I don't see where the hell they're getting rust protection out of this thing. It's, maybe it's doing a real little bit, but not much. And like I said, I chem this was sanded down. This was chemically cleaned it, and I put a nice, real heavy coat on it, and look look what happened there. All that rust, surface rust. And you say that's not much, but that's this is the test right here on this side. This was bare metal. It rusted about as much on a bare metal as it did where the protected area was. I don't know what the hell that shit does. 
So if you're gonna get, if you gotta weld something, um, I think the other thing to do is to use that 3M panel adhesive over to weld like a seam sealer after you weld everything. If it's got like any little pinholes, so nothing comes through. But you, on the inside, you gotta do something on the inside, or else it ain't gonna stop it. I mean, unless unless you got a Texas car, you're out west or you're Oregon or you're California or Nevada or Arizona. And it' gonna matter, but if you're up in the Northeast, you got to go do a lot. And uh, you know, this stuff is to me is just—I mean, I, I can get a gallon of roofing tar for less money than that. And I think uh, if I used a roofing tar behind the metal, um, it would work pretty well. So, just telling you about—I just was testing this out. I figured I'd spend you know a little time to test this shit out and see what happened. Um, so, to tell you exactly where to freaking spend your money on rust proofing. Probably roofing tar is not a bad deal. Not a bad deal to put on the inside of the freaking panel stove. That's cheap. You can get a gallon of that stuff really cheap. Um, especially the high quality stuff. Also, they got the spray stuff that is. Uh, let me see if I got a can of that. I probably do have the can of uh, spray roofing cement, but which is even more high performance than this. But something like this, um, yeah, you're probably, you're probably better off coating the inside of your car and your panels, getting in it with this kind of shit. This is cheap. It, it stops moisture. It's you know somebody's gonna tell you tell me that's bullshit, but you know what? For the price, it, it does work. It does work. It's not shitty stuff. It's not designed for cars. It's cheap. You can get a whole gallon of this stuff for less money in a can of this bullshit. And uh, I don't know what the hell it does, man. See that? One day a little sprinkled water on there and you've got rust just as much like bare steel. So, you know, that's your better bet right there. I, I'm telling it, let me put it this way. I'm telling it's not for the professional guys. I'm telling this for the guys that are uh, people that do their own work on cars that don't want to blow a lot of money on bullshit and still have something that lasts a long time that you can use and keep that damn rust away mainly for the people up northeast because if you're out west you, you don't have these problems man <laughs> cars can sit out there bare metal and they freaking don't even rust that much for years so up north for hang it up you got to have some protection uh, to me this isn't a bad bet I think it's only like 10 bucks for a gallon or something it's cheap